what Lola has done in this exhibition is there are two bodies of work. There is the traditional necklaces and then there are what we have called her contemporary sculptural pieces, which, well, you could wear them. I could wear that scallop shell one. I love it. Um, but they're, they're more a, a sort of a statement piece. But the materials that Lola is using in those necklaces, the possum skin, the abalone shells, the warrener shells, the vertebrae, of the, of the wallaby, they are all traditional because they're the materials and the, the things that they eat, wear or use traditionally. Um, so she's still trying to keep close to the traditions of using materials that are relevant in possibly other ways, but she can bring them into making artworks with them that keep alive the stringing tradition. All the necklaces in the exhibition that are attributed to Lola are her own individual designs. The black and white necklaces that are in the centre of the exhibition, there are three, she acknowledges that when she makes them she's thinking of her mother because her mother's signature was black and white necklaces. But the patterns and, and the, the sequence of the shells is Lola's. The um, 19th century necklace that Ro Lola restrung, that green, unbelievable green marinere shell necklace that we've got in there, Lola copied the pattern that the person had done. They can't identify who that person was and it's amazing. I've been with Lola and with Ray Norman who is considered to be the leading um, academic expert on Tasmanian shell necklaces and they can identify, if somebody brings them a shell necklace, they can identify whose it was by the pattern. You'll see in the exhibition there's a necklace by Lola and her daughter using the same shells, rice shells, marineers, the black crow I think they are and if you look at them Lola's pattern is there and it's hers and Vanessa's is just slightly different.